In this lecture, we will download and discuss a free photo editor called GIMP. GIMP is a great free tool that you can use to edit your designs when starting your t-shirt business. It lacks many features that are included with an advanced image editor like Photoshop, but GIMP has everything you need to start creating t-shirt designs for free. If you plan to sell on Merc by Amazon, you can even download a t-shirt design template specifically created to be used with GIMP. So let's start by downloading the GIMP photo editor. Head over to GIMP.org. So here's the GIMP homepage. GIMP is a free and open source image editor that you can use for your projects. From the GIMP homepage, you can download the GIMP photo editor, check out some tutorials, or view the most recent news. You also want to be sure to check back here frequently to make sure you have the most updated version of GIMP. To download GIMP, you want to go up to the top menu and click on the download tab. This should take you to the download page where you can download GIMP for either Mac or for PC. It looks like a few months ago they just released a new version 2.822 of GIMP. If you wanted to read some more installation instructions, just continue reading down this page until you get all the information you need. So you have two options to download GIMP. You can download from a torrent or download from GIMP directly. I'm going to download mine directly. It may take a few minutes for GIMP to download since it is a decent sized program. Once you've downloaded GIMP and ran the installer, you should have the GIMP icon on your desktop which looks like a small fox with a paintbrush in its mouth. So you can either open up GIMP from your applications folder or you can go down to the menu bar and click on the GIMP icon here. So here's what the GIMP photo editor should look like. Right now we have a blank canvas and you can see on the left hand sidebar all the different tools that you can use to edit your images. GIMP is not as powerful as some programs such as Photoshop so it may run slowly at times. So let's open up one of my previous designs and do a short overview of GIMP. To open up any past projects that you are working on in GIMP, simply go up to File, go down to Open Recent, and you'll see a list of all the projects that you've been working on. Let's open up this one for an example. So here's one of my past shirt designs. It's targeted for the music niche and says, good bass players stay out of treble. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll see a menu where you can edit the layers of your images. You can add more layers, move things around, and change the order of the layers. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll see all the different tools that you can use to edit each individual layer. If you click the magnifying glass, you can zoom in closer to your image to get a better view. If you wanted to change the size of one of your layers, simply go to the left hand side and click on the resize icon. Before you start changing the size of your layers, make sure you click this link here to make sure the proportions stay the same no matter how big or small you make them. Now you can make your image as large or as small as you want without losing any of your proportions. Once you've resized your image to where you want, go back up to the box and click on scale. Your image should start resizing now. As you can see, GIMP is a little bit slow, but it'll work until we can upgrade. So that's a basic overview on how to download and how to use GIMP. After we get our text in our image, we'll go over the entire process to create your shirt design in GIMP. You should have already downloaded the GIMP photo editor earlier in the course, and now we will look at how to download the t-shirt design template so you can edit your designs. Merc by Amazon provides you with some excellent resources to help you get started. So let's go up to the top right of the page and click on resources. On the resources page, you can get all sorts of useful information and tools such as Amazon's best practices, royalty calculations, the content policy, promotions policy, and other tools. So to get our design template, let's look at the menu on the left and click on tools. The tools they provide are t-shirt templates, promotion templates, and the ability to download the developer SDK. Let's click on the t-shirt templates tool to create our design. So here's where you go to download the t-shirt design template from Merc by Amazon. They have templates available for Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and the program that we'll be using, GIMP. Your t-shirt design should be in PNG format at 300 dpi 
with a transparent background and less than 25 megabytes. Your t-shirt design is also required to be 4,500 by 5,400 pixels and using the t-shirt design template will help us to meet these standards. So go ahead and click on the blue link at the bottom that says GIMP and download the t-shirt design template. Once the t-shirt template is downloaded, we can now open up the GIMP photo editor. But since I've already downloaded and used the template before, I'm just going to go up to File, Open Recent, then select the Merc by Amazon t-shirt template. So here's an example of a template that you can use to design your t-shirts. So let's get the template in the middle of the screen. Look on the right hand side and click on the fifth tab to move the template. Try to get it in a good spot that you can see so you can easily design your shirt. There we are. So go ahead and go back to the right hand side and click on the first tab to get back to your layers. Each graphic you add will be considered a new layer. So let's add our text in our image. Go up top and click on file, then click on open layers. Hopefully you remember the folder where you put your image and text graphics for your t-shirt design. So first, I'm going to open up my text and go ahead and add that to the template. Once you add a new layer, you should see it on the pane on the right hand side and also on the template itself. So now let's select our text layer and make it a little bigger. Click the resize tool on the menu bar on the left hand side. Before you start changing sizes, make sure you click this little link here to make sure you keep the same proportions. Once your proportions are locked, go ahead and resize your text image to the size that you want. I want my text to be above my image, so I'm going to move it to the top of the template. So let's make it a little bit bigger, then I want to make sure to get it dead in the center. There we are. I think that looks pretty good. So once you're finished, go back up to the menu box and click on scale. And now you have your text for your t-shirt design. So now let's add the image for our t-shirt design. Go back up to file and open layers and find your image. As my example design, I'm going to create a bowling shirt. So let me find my bowling graphic to add to my template. There we go. So I can see my bowling image on my t-shirt template. And also on the right hand side, I can see a new layer. So let's select the image, make sure the proportions are locked, then make it bigger. So after you've resized your image to get it the size that you want, you also want to arrange the image on the template to make sure it's in the right place. So I think I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger and move it back to the center. There we go. So once your image is the right size and in the right location, go ahead and click on scale. The image might take a few seconds to scale since we're using GIMP. There are many other editing programs available, but this works for me. And there we have it. We now have our text and our image for our t-shirt design. Before exporting, you want to make sure to remove the template. Go to your layers in the right hand side pane and click on the eyeball beside the template image. This should remove the template so you only export your text and image. So now it's time to export our completed t-shirt design. Go up top to file, then click on export as. You want to make sure to export your image as a vector file, so make sure you save it with a .png. Go ahead and find or create a folder for all your completed t-shirt designs, then name your design something that you'll remember. I think I'm just going to name mine bowling example. So once you've selected a folder and named your file, go ahead and click on export. You may see another dialog box pop up, but just keep all these settings the same and click on export. And of course, since we're using GIMP, there may be a slight wait time. And there you have it. You now have your first completed t-shirt design that you can start uploading to all your platforms. So let's open up my new design and see how it will look on a t-shirt. So here's my new t-shirt design. It's a bowling shirt that says that's how I roll with a bowling ball and some pins. Great job following along so far and I'll see you in the next section. Hey, Jason here again with Quantum Courses and thanks for checking out this video preview. To get the full course and view our other online courses and masterclasses, head over to jasongandy.org 
or click the link down in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and click that like button and I'll see you next time. Yeah.